Hello everyone and welcome back to the log dresser. When I was up deer hunting I uh, needed to get some more of these pine logs. So I picked these out there that you just saw. These are ones that have been dead for a couple years. It gives time for the bugs to get in there and they make little canals and stuff like that that I really like. Gives it an old look. So I got the workshop cleaned up a little bit here, and now I'm just going to peel these and let them get dried out. They're good and dry because they're dead, but they're wet from being outside and getting snowed on. Well, now I've got the bark off those and I'll just let them dry here. A couple of them had a little bit of rot in them. Uh, that's why I grabbed so many, so I could find what it is I can use and what I can't. It was six below this morning when I started the stove and I knew this cold was coming and yesterday I had the guys brought them over here after work or in the afternoon yesterday I went and got insulation and we insulated this whole entire ceiling in here and man does it help a lot in keeping it nice and warm. This is actually another project. I've, I've actually been working on this one for about two years. I got that from Louisiana and I kind of want to make a table out of it. And This is some cypress that I found like right by Lake Pontchartrain that had blown up on shore that I've cut in half and I was just looking at it today. One of these days it's going to come to me and it'll all come together. I think by laying this out it'll really kind of give a feel for what it's going to look like. I know I want to come in eight inches on each side. So after that I want to have a 12 inch wide shelf. All right, so those are the boards going up. So there'll be shelves in this little area, mirrored in the center, shelves going up on that side. I'm gonna try to get a feeling for what I wanna do. These, this whole shelf thing is gonna come up. I wanna have a log on the face of it there. And I want a log on the face of it here going all the way up. And here will be shelves, but on this side. I want a little quarter log like that to finish that board out. And one in here that'll just go over the face of that mirror. And that kind of works for me, I think. So I'm trying to figure out how this looks good on paper, but unless I can have this same log in the back, it really doesn't work because you're wide open. Like this is the back, these are the things sticking out. Well that's fine, but if I have that round log that goes across here, there's nothing to fill it back here, and then that looks goofy. So I think what I might do is I might build it, forget about that round part, build it square across the top so that my shelves go all the way back to the wall 
Well, it's the next day here, and I went up to the store and I had to get some 4 inch pipe here and set this up. And I don't know if that'll work or if I have to put a cap on this, but I got to stop them wood chips from shooting all over, and that was my next step. Now I'm going to run this board through the planer. Well, it's a good idea, but I definitely need to put a cover on that. Okay, we'll give this another try. Now I don't know if the air will be able to push out here or if it'll pop the lid, but we'll get it eventually. Okay, still have to work on that. Ah, this is why you don't throw away your onion bags or your potato bags or anything. You just never know when you might need it. Okay, let's give it a try again. now I mean that'll work just fine but you still get some dust out of it and I think my dad had I talked to him yesterday and he was trying to think of a way um, not using a garbage can but he had brought up a gunny sack I think if you were to attach a gunny sack to that six inch right there you wouldn't get any dust out and it would last a lot longer than than this is going to but anyway this will work for now I got the sideboards now planed, and now I'm just trying to go through the boards and uh, make sure which ones I want to use for the backer in that behind those shelves because I've got to make sure I've got enough for drawers and I want a board on the top. Yeah, I've got a whole new idea for the top of this. Two ideas, and I just have to see which one I like the best. This board right here that I just cut, this is the going to be like behind the mirror and behind all the shelves and everything like that, and actually part of this will hang down below the top of the dresser so I can screw in from the back side to hold it to the dresser. I want you guys to check this out. I went through it. It didn't make any noise and I th it hit metal though but then when I hit it that's lead. Somebody has shot a bullet into this tree and it got lodged in there. I just got to glue these two together. This is going to go behind the shelves. I got to make two of these, one for each side. Go ball in New York Hudson Valley enough for a couple of young cousins to build a snowball.
I just got the second one glued up and when I run this through the planer I just ran them down to 7 8 so I've got another eighth inch to take off so get rid of all that glue and any unevenness and these are luckily they're only 12 and a half inches wide they need to be planed down to 12 inches but by making the little shelf areas 12 inches total I can still run this through the planer because my planer will take 13 inch Alright, well, these logs here are just tacked on there, or just sitting on there for some of them. Just kind of getting a feel for it. I'm going to have uh, three shelves on each side over here. And I'd like to just put all these in, but it's going to be much easier tomorrow when I, I want to wait for those, uh, the boards that are glued to dry really good overnight, and then I can cut them to size, put them in here, and then I can slap this one tight against it, versus jumping the gun here and throwing them in and then trying to fight a gap tomorrow. So sometimes it's better to just slow down a little bit. So I think I'll just load up the wood stove here. I mean, it's already 7 o'clock at night. I've been out here. Well, I started the stove at 6 o'clock this morning, so it's been a long day. So anyway, I'll just let these dry, and then we'll just come out tomorrow and start again. We are back. It's the next morning here. Temperature outside actually went up overnight. It's up to 22 degrees. It's supposed to get up, I think, to like 30 or above today, but then ah, within two days the high is going to be 9 degrees. So anyway, it'll go back down. But the boards here have dried up real nice. I'm excited now I can run them through the planer and we can start putting things together and kind of get a feel for what it's going to look like. Now I've got them all planed down, they're cut to size, 
and I'm going to go over them though with a sander because once they get inside and I get shelves on there and stuff I won't really be able to get in there and sand these very good. got that side in now I just have a couple of fake shelves just to help hold everything nice and square when that glue is trying to dry at first I thought I'd do something like this and have uh, well, of course the bark would come off and it'd just be a raw edge kind of like what's on the dresser right now but I'm afraid if I do that it's gonna seem too thin on top kinda wimpy I can't be too massive on top because then it's gonna seem top heavy so I went through a whole bunch of different things here and I'll show you what I think I'm gonna do with just a square edge on there and then go ahead and put a log edge around this whole thing and then my other logs will be coming up here behind it. I'm going to be building a little thingy right here and if I think this is too blah then I'll have to put something in here afterwards but once these shelves and everything get in I think it might look pretty good. Now I've just been gluing up boards that I'm going to use for the uh, the actual shelves. Okay everyone, well, I'm going to call it a day. It's a little bit after 7 o'clock at night. I started that stove this morning at uh, 5.45 or so, so it's been another full day, but it's kind of coming along. Now those shelves that are in there, that are drying right now. Tomorrow I'm going to get those cut and put in and kind of really get a feel for what it's going to look like.
Okay, everyone. Well, it's about 10:30 at night. I'm just about to hit the hay, but I needed to uh, load up the stove so it burns all night long. And we'll be back in the morning. It's the next morning here. My boards are all nice and dry now. I can run them through the planer. It's about uh, 13 below wind chill outside this morning, but it was still 63 degrees in here this morning, so not too bad. Here's our four sets of boards that are glued up. them all plain down now. That's a lot of work for just some little shelves. Well, it's getting there. Now I have to uh, do the little thing around the top. Good morning, everyone. It's a balmy six below zero here in Minnesota, but we're up to 72 degrees here in the workshop. So today, the only thing I really want to get done is I want to get the log border thing put up on the top there. I had several logs that I had peeled here and everything, but I just could not find the one that I really wanted to use. Some of them, like this one, was a nice one, but it's probably four inches on that big side, going down to about two on this side, so I just uh, needed something that was a little bit more uniform in size. So last night I went out just before dark and I got this tree here, it's a dead spruce. It was a standing dead, it had fallen part way over so it is really dry, but then I hit it with a sander a little bit and it does get the differences in color and it does have some little bug marks in it and stuff like that and it's a little bit more uniform, not quite, not quite the difference between the, the big side and the small side. So I think I'm going to get this one ready and we'll see if this one will work. Cut 
this one now, when I did the other uprights on the, the dresser, I had to have that board directly in the center because, you know, we're, we're wider and getting narrower. With this one here, I want to keep the slab the same the whole way through. I don't want it to be just halfing the log. So I'm just going to go about an inch and three-quarter. Well, I think I'm going to end this segment on the log dresser. Got quite a bit of stuff done the last four days. Got this half of the shop at least cleaned up a little bit. Um, it's looking looking like a dresser now. So next up we'll be doing probably the drawer fronts and then, then the drawers. And then eventually we'll be able to stain and varnish everything. And, and it'll be really neat to see how the different colors come out in the wood. I even took a little break from the dresser today and I made a little... Uh, candle holder that's what I thought of it as I don't know I guess it could be anything but kind of cute thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video